Waterproofing and drainage are two sides of the same coin of water management, but they provide vastly different functions in a building. They are complementary functions, however, properly understanding the differences between the two can quite literally determine the success or the failure of the building. Waterproofing is intended to repel water and assumes perfection in the system, relying on the concept of the perfect barrier, in which all of the water challenging the building must be stopped by this single layer. We often use perfect barrier systems in roof assemblies, however, the nature of waterproofing only systems leaves very little room for error. Additionally, the buildup of hydrostatic pressure from water being held in tension against the waterproofing can be immense, driving water through any tiny gaps, fastener holes, pinholes, fish mouths, or any other imperfections in the membrane. As little as an inch of water can exert an enormous amount of hydrostatic pressure, half an inch of water held in tension against the building can exert the equivalent force of a 35 mile per hour wind driven rain. As you might imagine, controlling hydrostatic pressure is critical to any water management strategy. And so we can either fight water intrusion with a perfect waterproofing system, or we can use gravity to our advantage and drain the water away so it doesn't challenge the building and the waterproofing, and so that we can alleviate hydrostatic pressure. If we alleviate hydrostatic pressure through drainage, there really isn't any force to drive water into those imperfections in the waterproofing, and in many ways, drainage is significantly more important than waterproofing. But if we get rid of the water before it has a chance to accumulate and become a problem, then our building won't have leaks or water intrusion issues. We want to drain pretty much everything that we can, from draining the roof itself, to draining the site away from the building, to draining the assemblies, to draining the components. We need to prioritize drainage first, and then we can prioritize waterproofing. 